In today's video, we are going to be doing a full teardown of the new iPhone 13. Here's a sneak peek of what you'll see by the end of the teardown. One of the main differences I notice here is the ear uh, mesh is at the very top of the screen. Compared to the iPhone 12. First we'll remove the Pentalobe screws. Let's apply some heat to make it easier to remove the screen. After a couple minutes we'll take it off. Carefully insert a pry tool. and slowly and gently pull the screen up. Now it looks like here on the right side of the phone there is actually a place to insert the tool. Let's test it to make sure it's still working. Go ahead and remove the screen. Let's disconnect the battery before anything else. heat up the screen to remove the proximity sensor assembly and the first thing I noticed was there is no ear speaker attached to this ear on the uh, proximity sensor assembly 
but they did use a ton of adhesive to hold this flex cable to the back of the display. The ambient light sensor as well is adhered along with the proximity sensor itself. I am curious to find out where the coating for the Face ID is housed this time around. It's probably going to be either uh, in the proximity sensor itself or it's going to be uh, on the flex cable right here in that chip maybe or it's going to be where it normally is there in the proximity sensor. Let's go ahead and reassemble the screen and continue with the teardown. Gently prying out the rear camera, we can see that it has stabilization for this center camera, but here there's no stabilization. Go ahead and disconnect the rest of the connectors that are on the motherboard and see if we can remove it. Now as I'm trying to remove the motherboard here, I'm noticing that there's some resistance and I, I know that I've gotten all the connectors and screws. Let's see if there's anything going under the battery on this model. And there we can see why it wasn't coming out. There's a flex cable that went under the corner of the battery and goes along down the side of the frame, which this is the, uh, the antenna. Uh, this connects to the antenna for the 5G. After removing that, the board now comes out. Let's take a look at this flex cable. It is soldered to the logic board, and it looks like it's something that I really don't want to have to mess with because there's no actual solder joints that are visible right under the sticker. That means in order to do something as simple as replacing the charging port in the iPhone 13, the battery has to come out and the motherboard has to come out before the charge port can be addressed. Charge ports in this device, although replaceable, are going to be, uh, the repair itself will take quite a bit of time, just like in all previous models. Go ahead and remove the microphone from the rear camera assembly. Here's a first look at the 5G in the iPhone 13.
The volume and power button again are connected to the external charging coil on the back of the phone. Using some heat, we'll, we'll be able to pry it away and you can see there is a ring of magnets that goes around the back of the frame. Let's go ahead and remove the flash. And let's remove the antenna here as the last thing left inside the frame. And there's a full teardown of the new iPhone 13. Now for a quick montage of the reassembly.